Did you know preserved brain tissue from the 1940s might still be conscious and screaming? Dr. Sarah Chen was working late in the psychiatric hospital archives when she first heard the whispers, faint voices echoing from the specimen storage room down the hall. She followed the sound to rows of glass jars filled with yellowed formaldehyde. Each jar contained chunks of brain tissue from lobotomy patients, carefully labeled and dated. But the whispers were coming from inside the jars themselves. As she leaned closer, the voices became clearer, desperate pleas for help. Then she realized something horrifying. These preserved brain fragments could still see through their original owner's eyes. Decades later, they were experiencing every moment of their host's incomplete lives. When Sarah accidentally touched one jar, she felt it all at once. Dozens of fragmented minds screaming in unison, the tissue pulsing with desperate energy. They had been conscious this entire time, trapped and aware. Medical violation that never ended, even after death.